Surprise! Hello everyone. Well, they went live without any warning, so we missed a pistol round, which now we won on the CT side. Okay, so, Banana is going to be smoked off by the uh, Na'Vi players, which is going to limit the options of Luminosity here. They've gone for the fourth fire. You can see the uh, armor, the helmets in places. They are lacking in grenades, of course. As are Na'Vi now, they've only got two uh, flashes onto Edward. And that's about it. Zeus taking a bit of damage. Edward over towards A, while the team of Luminosity are all charging up towards B. With Devil Walk in tow, the new player, brand new player. I doubt he would have had any time to have practiced anything with the team. He's going to go forward first. Three frags coming the way of the CTs. Two coming back for Luminosity. The bomb's on the floor, only pit remaining. Let's see what they can do here. Going for some Deagle shots, but Flamey will finish him off with the Tech 9. Two rounds to Navi. And uh, this is one of the... This is the first tournament for Luminosity with their new lineup with Devil Walk. And it's quite cool to see a team with three Americans and two Swedish players. I doubt that they will bring any good results in at this tournament, considering they've. I don't think they've managed to play a single practice game, to be honest, since Devil Walk joined two days ago. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to him about casting at Face It Finals just a few days ago, so I don't know how recent this is or how long it was in the works or what the deal was, but here he is playing for Luminosity. I could expect a strong Na'Vi performance here. Peter down to 2 HP, Pit and Lex. Uh, ooh, look at the health actually on to Na'Vi. This is not good. They've got to play for the trades. They've got to play together here. They have a man advantage and they need to keep this because they could be within tapping distance. Lex going for... I don't think with the time left that was... Maybe the best option to come from Vietnam because you show up on the radar when you're in Vietnam before you can even see anyone. Before you reach the edge of the woods. Like an entire, if you put someone so their, their right hand side was on the edge of the woods, their entire body basically up to the left comes up on the radar before you even get out. So 3-0 to Na'Vi. Bit of an expensive round there which means there will, will be some FAMASs. They're going to start with 2 over towards B, 3 towards A. Passive beginning from Luminosity, and this may be a difficult map for them to uh, have some executes with, with the new lineup being so fresh. Again, Devil Walk coming in, Nafly going out. Luminosity apparently lost to SK Gaming earlier on, so if they lose this, you can assume that they are going to be on their way home, if not the, if they aren't already. So, slow start from Luminosity. I think we're going to see a lot of slow starts. Again, expecting uh, them to be not as tight as they might be in a few weeks from now. And I wonder who's the in-game leader for Luminosity if it is Devil Walk. It was Lex, historically. Maybe it will end up being Devil Walk at some point, but for now, I believe it's Lex. Navi holding passive towards Banana, as I say that, Edward's going to go to the car, have a look down, not see anything, and that will allow the rotate to continue from Flamey towards the A site. Edward's slowly, actually, not Edward, I know, oh, it's Guardian, sorry, going down Banana, but the frags are all coming the way of A. Two terrorist players left. Pit has been taken down by, uh, by Peter. Peter and Pit remaining. Pit jumping into the pit as Guardian is in... A two versus one situation. Oh, Peter is... Uh, I don't know what happened there, but he didn't kill Guardian, that's for sure. Guardian coming out with a pistol now. Going to get a dink with the Deagle. Got two to find. Unable to frag either player. And the pause has been called by Luminosity as they take their first round. Yeah, winning the first weapon round. That's a good start for Luminosity. The problem is now they will be able to buy... Yet again, which means they have to win this round too, if they want to break the bank of Navi and force them to an eco. And uh, I'm still very inter interested to see if Devil Walk will have brought any tactics to the table. He is known for doing kind of a more YOLO style to the T side, just trying to go for er early picks. But now it looks like Luminosity is just playing slow, default Inferno. Indeed. Devil Walk was the grenade man for Fnatic when he was on the team. He was the guy who knew every grenade in every spot. Once he was drunk in Meltdown and showed me smoke grenades for about half an hour. So, a notorious smoke date. 
First right coming the way of Devil Walk onto the banana area, going for that uh, shoulder peak, but he's up against Guardian. Guardian finds the frag, Tr Pit finds the trade. Four versus three as Luminosity take control of the site. There's going to be a late rotation from the bomb, however, only starting to come up to Banana now. And uh, Navi have charged through the site and taken both players. So now the bomb is isolated. Lex trying to find a frag. Lex find a frag onto a blind Edward, while Zeus is still stuck at top mid with Anger looking in second mid. And oh, Anger's going to find the angle before Zeus to the bomb will make a safe rotation back to the A site. And Seas will find himself alone towards B. Coming in for the rotation in the banana and we might have a crossfire set up between pit and the site in fact they are going to go for the double pit play which is dangerous as well Seize has the smoke and the kit if he goes for a uh, pit smoke things might get interesting here but he's taking it slowly yeah, he has to save now there's not, not enough time and luminosity winning the two first weapon rounds which mean navi will be forced to an eco. He's going to go for the late peek into the corner. He knows that they're going to try and save there. And indeed, that's going to be enough damage. Going to get a frag as well. Lex will just about survive. That's smart play by Seized. And 3 to 2. But I think Luminosity will tie this game 3 3. Now that now we will be forced to an eco. Seized did save that gun though. And I think he saved a. Uh, a 5-7 as well, so we can drop that to a teammate. I'm wondering where he's actually going to try to peek with AK. Because you want to take the aim duels here with AK. See, this is actually going to push down mid. That nade is going to do less damage than I would have expected. Devil Walk with 80 HP. And they will just play uh, patiently with all the T's as Seas comes in the middle. He spots one player, doesn't find a frag onto Lex, looking for maximum output in his damage. But his output will be zero. You can see Luminosity being static at the moment, looking for any more uh, would-be bad doers. But they are mostly elsewhere with, I think it's Zeus in an interesting position in the balcony, looking for anybody walking through apps, but they are all to his right. And we're going to see a jump. This should be a one-tap. He's looking in the wrong direction. Oh, he's only got the, the USPS, so... One tap won't be possible, but he gets the frag nonetheless. Anger will get an easy frag into the boiler area, and Luminosity will continue their charge. Flamey now, only one standing here versus three. He's got a long rotation as well. Not much to lose, just a 5-7. Might as well go for it, though he might try to pick up a weapon. There is one in boiler, but uh, Anger's headed in that direction. Maybe mm. expecting that. There should then. be one in second mid, the one that Seast had. Uh, we'll see. Second mid is where Flamey finds himself. Again, Anger just uh, keeping watch on that gun. He's picked up a kit and a Galil, and he may settle for that. Considering the they've lost three rounds in a row, he could actually go for one or two more exits here. There's the first one, and uh, he'll make a run for it. The other AK was picked up by uh, the player who just died. So that's going to be that. So, three to three now, Luminosity. We're tying things up early. We'll see if uh, Navi can get their economy off the ground properly. Finally, a full set of smokes here for Navi, so they can just keep resmoking that B site. And did Flamey just forget to buy Kevlar? I think he did. Let's have a look at the cash. Flamey forgot to buy Kevlar. Well, he's going to be in for a nasty surprise very soon. Three people over towards Banana. In fact, that's four. Now, that is a nice grenade. Anger down to 25 HP. Devil Walk as well. Heavily tagged. Peeking through the corner of the smoke seas. Well positioned to do some damage here if Luminosity get to Larry. Three players over. And I wonder if Flamey's realized that he's lacking armor yet. So, Devil Walk starting to peek. Looking for an engagement. We're going to bounce the uh, nades towards the sandbags area. We may see a counter flash push from Navi soon, but they're going to try and move back. Flamey's actually facing. He has no idea. He's got no armor. Indeed. Are we going to see the flash now? Just, just going to be the raw peak from Zeus. It's going to be a trade attempt from Seas. Indeed it is. He's going to find himself two frags. Traded again, but will they expect the third player? Anger might push the site on his own of 25 HP. Peter taking down Guardian in towards A. 
But they will continue towards B. Now, Flamey, when will he reveal himself? He, he, he's just hiding over, but he's not going to be able to find any frags. And that should be the round now. Only Edward remaining versus three. And that's very surprising that Luminosity, Luminosity manages to win that round after they got naded down to under 40 HP on three players. And uh, Flamey might have been playing a bit too greedy there. I think he just want, wanted to wait for one or two more players and just kill them all from the back. And now Luminosity will actually be up 4-3. And they lost to Pistol Round. This is very surprising. Yeah, four rounds in a row and Na'Vi's economy is decimated. Flamey uh, saving a bit of money there. But we'll see if it will come to any use. And once again, Navi will go for that eco, which means Luminosity is actually looking to go up to five rounds. This is actually looking quite scary for Navi this far. Flamey probably wondering why he had $6,200 in the bank, but he's going to buy the uh, M4 and the Kevlar. <coughs> Excuse me, as his teammates buy some pistols. <coughs> so there are two pistols on the uh, two uh, two M4, sorry, on the CT side. Although one has already disappeared. Edwards and C will now be uh, rocking the M4s for the CT side. Two per site, already at a disadvantage. Both when the uh, round started and now they've lost a player. Luminosity, though, we have lots of time on the clock. We'll take things easy, take things step by step. Yeah, very disciplined play here from Luminosity, knowing that Navi will go for a half buy because they saved two weapons. Just getting the entry kill, playing it slow, going together, just gonna play the trades, and finally gonna make the B push with all five play players. And I really like that they don't have a lurker. Because they just want to play the trades. Right, so they're going to charge in. Bit of team flashing going on, but there is nobody to engage. As the entire Navi side will opt for the save. I think Guardian will be the one to spot. Maybe try and make some uh, AWP money with that Deagle. One of the more dangerous Deagle players in the game. Simple says hello. Good economy management here from Navi though, managing to save two M4s for two rounds. Okay, so again, Guardian still towards CT while the rest of the team make their way, they meander through the Terra apps. Luminosity extend their lead to five. Again, five rounds in a row here for the North American Swedish side. That detonation is quite epic, I must say. It's going to take some getting used to, but it's pretty huge. Boom. Boom. 5-3. Navi once again will be able to buy, and they will have a bit of a bank on two players, thanks to them saving those two M4s for so long. Okay, so that smoke will bounce off the back wall, and then go back into mid, smoking mid off for the uh, CTs. Although, it hasn't been ex executed properly, so Guardian has a pretty big gap to play with. And indeed, it's almost a peak there from Peter. Almost got himself into trouble. We'll be looking towards Arch now, as uh, Guardian has to watch his back. Edward has to hold quad for him, but Edward goes down, which means Guardian has to look in both directions. Takes on Devilwalk, looks for another player. And it's only Anger remaining now, being spotted in the pit, and he's going to be left on the bench. Nice try, though, from Luminosity. There's, that's quite common pistol run, or sorry, weapon run for T's on Inferno, where you just go three or four people apartments really, really fast and try to hit a timing before the sieges have put someone in big pit. Because some teams actually have three guys aggressive in mid just to utilize the nades, try to, try to throw some down, down some HEs. And if you go apartments really fast, you can actually some, sometimes go out apartments before they actually rotate back towards big pit. Okay, so it looks like Devilwalk's going to be flashed in. Ruthless aggression coming in here from Luminosity. But a bit of tagging before they can start to move. Devilwalk down to 71, but Flamey's down a little bit less. Luminosity with numbers. They are refusing to concede Banana to the Na'Vi side. Anger heading into the apps at the moment. Might have some support from Lex a bit later on. He's just holding around second mid in case there's somebody coming to the balcony area. 
And again, it's just a case of luminosity slowly taking map control. Looking to uh, try and find a pick somewhere, anywhere. Flamey holding a pot flash in case the push comes. And the push may come. Well, that may be a bit of a creep here. We can see Peter just walking in. That re-smoke coming in. Peter on top of the cart looking for a mistake to be made. Still, only two players over towards the uh, B bomb site. You can see the boost coming in. 25 seconds left. 25 seconds on the clock here. And we've seen awkwardness from Luminosity in terms of their, their timing onto the B bomb site on Inferno. And we might be seeing the same thing again. 14 seconds and they're just now in front of the site, completely blind with flames around them. 10 seconds and they have to plant here with complete success. They're all going for a plant in the smoke while his team runs distraction. And indeed, he's going to get the plant down. This is madness. Three versus three as we've got uh, one CT on the site doing some damage. Now it's going to be a man disadvantage for Navi, but they are well in position to do something about this. Peter holding down the banana area, but both CTs are facing the site already. Pitts. Just going for the occasional peek here. There's one flashbang on Na'Vi and that's about it. Seems it may be a bit... Uh, that's a great snap from Guardian onto Pit. He's looking for the next frag. It's going to be Devil War hiding in the position. But there's not enough time to find the last frag. Peter should be able to save his gun in Banana. But Guardian will not be able to do so. Very patient play there from Luminosity. Just knowing that they have to wait for the smokes to fade on B. <laughs> it's actually only 25 seconds left on the clock when this last smoke fades there. Plus Navi having two Molotovs left on that B site. Still Luminosity just managed just to plant in that smoke, get all the kills they need and Navi loses the round. And very surprising, especially considering Navi had three players on that B site. Yeah, such a late play as well. It was a bit of a gimmicky plant, but it paid off for Luminosity and it is best of one. So these gimmicks can go a long way. Two frags through the smoke. And there's little indication that there are three players over towards the B-bomb site, two of which are rotating already. The bomb left in a passive position means Luminosity can't make a fast play based on these frags. So five versus three with a minute on the clock for Luminosity to try and uh, expose a weak spot. Na'Vi may be expecting a fast reaction from Luminosity, putting four towards A, but uh, one slowly heading back towards B when there's no retaliation. So again, the bomb in a super passive position, which means there's only going to be two people at t top mid as the bomb is retrieved. Zeus going for the uh, information angles for his team. Is an unsurpri is a surprising angle as well. Ooh, we've got repeats from both sides. Peter left a 4 HP looking for trade fraggers. Again, they do have a two-man disadvantage already. And there's no one touched on the CT side yet, despite those shots from Peter. And Luminosity is actually just gonna save the weapons here. However, if Zeus actually heard them, they might actually try to kill them after the time runs out. Look at the movement from the CTs. They are all charging down, hunting these players like a pack of wild dogs after a small chicken. Who knows when that scenario ever actually happens, but never mind. Peter there with Peter trying to survive with 4 HP. The time runs out, Lex goes down, Peter. Has got maybe a second more to survive and he will just about hold on to his orb. I don't know if that's really worth it though for Navi. They did get those two kills now. But sometimes when you actually try to run towards the T's when they're saving so defensive in the T apartments, usually the aim jewels favors the T so much that you're usually just gonna lose more than you gain from it. Yeah, worth noting that chimney <coughs> is not solid. You can throw nades through it. It has no impact. Peter may be going for an early frag here, but he is about to be smoked off. Going to go for a pot shot. Nothing to find there. Bit of an indication as to where the AWP isn't. So we might see some more aggression from the CTs elsewhere. Seems that Banana is firmly in control of the Na'Vi players. Playing it a bit passively to start. Maybe just in case there is a rush or some uh, Tech 9 spam through the smoke. You can see Peter trying to jump over. Trying to find a CT to shoot through the smoke. But there will be none. So Luminosity starting to head up towards top mid, which may force the uh, CTs back here. As it is a bit of a dangerous position if Tech 9 starts to head out of Boiler. Pop Flash is coming in with... Oh, that's perfect timing from Guardian and the bomb. All the information that the CTs required. 
Peter, not long for this world. He goes down as well. Clean round from Na'Vi. And Guardian gets his free AWP as well. And Luminosity will be forced to an eco. They just did that forced by the last round because he knew they were going to have to go for two low bites anyway. And PTR with quite a bank. He actually bought an op the previous round and now he still has around 3k. He saved it from the round before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. The, the, the lone survivor. So that smoke down mid is going to close things off for a while. Guardian with two frags. Penetration is the name of the, the word of the day. And Guardian gets an easy 3k on the anti-eco round. Na'Vi taking the lead now, but Luminosity with six rounds on the board on the T side. Not looking too shabby at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if Luminosity actually just go for their B play where they waited out, waited for the smokes to fade and then just went for the B push once only 10 seconds left. Maybe it was 15 seconds left of the round. Kind of aggressive player and banana from Na'Vi. Okay, so they are going to be down towards the bottom of Banana again. The smoke is in position. We'll see if Luminosity choose to boost over the smoke, although it is uh, known by people from both sides. It's expected a lot these days. Indeed, they are going to go for the boost. And Guardian will find the frag onto a second mid player, Lex. So, re smoke coming in on Banana. You can see more pot shots coming in towards Banana. But nobody to be found yet. The shot through the smoke was being teased there, but the trigger was not pulled. So Luminosity trying to force their way through the smoke, but that's going to be one, two frags, make it three. Easy kills, easy life for Flamey on Banana. And I think that that was a response from Navi. They don't they don't want to play against that slow B play, like. The one Luminosity did a few weapon rounds ago where Devil Walk managed to get the plant at five seconds left. They just wanted want to push aggression onto Banana, just deny the entire Banana play from Luminosity. Double orps on the CT side. We've seen this on Overpass as well with Flamey picking the orp up and he continues here on Inferno. Bit of a surprise for Luminosity in the last round. You see that nice flashbang that comes off in front of the car. That allows you to peek behind the car at the same time. Flamey... Not needing the car, not needing any vision, just getting the pot shot through the smoke, finding a frag, five versus three. Anger behind the logs. Peter will go down, no trade. Guardian will take down Lex elsewhere. Anger taking down Seeds, but still the orc to contend with. He does have the bomb. The plant isn't so relevant anymore. He needs to kill everyone. He is stuck on Banana. We have uh, one rotation from Zeus. Sorry, from Guardian. So use falls on Banana. So, Anger with many angles to cover now. Ooh, going to get a bit sneaky, but he's making noise. And Guardian will have all the information he needs to take it. 9-6 in favor of Na'Vi. And even though six rounds as Steel and Inferno is acceptable, I feel like Na'Vi actually just woke up there in the end, taking, I think, five rounds in a row. I think it was the round where they did... That B push at 50 seconds left. After that, it looked like Navi just pulled themselves pulled themselves together. Well, Navi with it all to do on the uh, on the CT on the T side now. Now, do you think th the CT side is going to be harder for Luminosity with with a new addition to their lineup than the T side? It could actually be because you really want that perfect rotation through CT spawn, where you just make that good read all the time. So if you have that extra player on B or that extra player on A when the actual push comes in from the CT. And we're going to have, have fast p piss around here towards mid from Na'Vi. Guardian 20 and 5 at the moment. We'll see if he can extend that uh, KD ratio here in this pistol. One player down for both. Na'Vi with the option to wrap. There is a player heading towards library for the CT. That's going to be uh, Devil Walk, but he's going to go down to Edward. Pit play. Pit will go down to Flamey as well. So far, so good here. Na'Vi sees coming in for the knife frag, but... He will not get there fast enough. Lex will fall. Anger, last one standing, and he will go down as well. Solid pistol around here from Na'Vi, and a great opportunity to close this out early. Will Luminosity go for the force buy? I would think so. I mean, it's Inferno. If you just buy some smokes, it's actually quite wi viable to go for the... Oh, they're just going for 5 P250s and a smoke on Lex. 
Something reasonable. Again, yeah, with all the uh, nooks and crannies and corners on this map, it can be a dangerous one for the T's to navigate on a round such as this. Only one Molotov on the Na'Vi side, that's on C's. He is over towards B. But almost all the players for Luminosity are dead already. Peter taking pot shots, but not finding a frag. Down to 60 HP. Pit, however, elsewhere will take down Guardian and pick up a Galil. Bomb headed over towards the B bomb site as Flamey clears up on quad. 11 to 6. Luminosity five rounds behind. We have to expect an eco here as well. So 12 6 before Luminosity can really uh, get something going here. Yeah, going for those two half, or I would say full ecos if you just buy P250s, shows that they are very confident in their C to play. Okay, so. Peter is still in CT spawn, looking to move towards the B bomb site a bit late. And Seize will spot one player towards the site. And he's just going to run around and cause havoc with this MAC 10, checking all the corners very carefully. But there's multiple peeking coming in, but he'll still find himself two frags and continue the pressure with the pistol. You can see the bombs being left in a very passive position. All the options available to Na'Vi as they kill everyone and survive with five players. And we're gonna see an AWP here on PTR. And a lot of smokes, so... It's gonna be a proper buy here from Luminosity. Actual Anger opting to go for that Molotov instead of the smoke. Usually you want at least four smokes so you just can keep re-smoking Banana or that defensive B smoke. So, just uh, random pot shots from Peter. Announcing the AWP. Zeus down to 40 HP, not sure if he got naded somewhere, probably got naded down Banana from the Luminosity players, Luminosity players who are lacking in nades actually. There is a minute 20 on the clock, they have one smoke in the bank. And that's on Devil Walk, who I believe is playing on the uh, B bomb sites. indeed he is. I think we're going to see a B split from Navi. So or two people going apps, this is a very weird round. That last smoke has been baited by the Na'Vi side. So Luminosity have four flashes to work with here and not much else. They need to find these frags before Na'Vi get in too deep. So Peter's about to be smoked off indeed. That is a clean smoke and he will be forced to rotate and Zeus already looking for the rotation but Peter's going to be the one to find him. So he's looking to follow up. Uh, Peter's been forced away from March. Devil Walk coming in for support as well. The bomb still at bottom mid. Three plays over towards B. Can Na'Vi move fast enough to get a frag over towards Quad? That's going to be a full rotation from the CTs. They know that they've been sold down the river by Na'Vi and they're trying to recover. They've had been forced away from Arch as well. So they've lost the entire site. They have the numbers. Four versus two here to go for a split. They may even go for a push through the smoke. Who knows? They have one flash left onto Lex, and that's about it. Lex over towards Arch. We've got people moving into apps as well, and two in for quad. Lex throws us a flash. I think he flashed his teammate. He'll push through the smoke. Those are three easy frags there for Na'Vi. Only Peter remaining on quad. Firing shots, but not finding any enemies, and he'll be forced to retreat. Very cool strat there for Na'Vi. Actually going for the B split fake. That's, just, that's the first time I've ever seen that. And due to that round never being faked, it actually caused an over-rotation from Luminosity. As soon as they saw two guys towards CD spawn, they probably just thought, oh, it's 100% a B split through CD spawn. Let's just rotate everyone over toward that B site. And we could actually see Navi could abuse that by taking the big pit, taking the A site, and then smoking off towards Arch. And uh, even though they were in a four versus two, it's really difficult to retake that site. Yeah, unfortunately, that, that, that last flashbang as well flashed the teammates on quad which made things even more difficult for the Luminosity side. And then the smoke push. Navi were ready and waiting for it. Pitt's coming in close with the Mag 7. He could do some real damage here if he chooses the right time. There's a first headshot. Going to miss a second one. Trade from Flamey. That's going to be advantage. T. So Lex coming in with the Famas. Going to get one frag onto Flamey. Another tr trade now. A minute 15 on the clock here. And Navi have a 3 versus 3 already. Peter with an important job to do. But he's going to have to play for the retake here. Or reposition to avoid being traded again. Guardian down to 50 HP now as uh, Navi swarm the site. The gun poking out should be a kill here for Peter. Indeed it will be C's going down. So 
Man advantage on the retake here for Luminosity. Bomb planted though. 2v4 was bad enough. Now we're seeing a 2v3. There's a first frag going the way of uh, Guardian. But he's not in, the, not in the pit this time. And he will be traded. Zeus getting one spray down. 11 bullets in the magazine to try and finish off Anger here. 5 HP left and the Glock will be enough to make it 14-6. to six. Luminosity will be forced to buy this round, of course. If they're not absolutely crazy. Yeah, there, there we go. Right, so by coming in from Luminosity as they are with a little choice. Four smoke grenades. First one's going out from Peter. Let's we'll see if they can slow down this Navi advance. It's going to be the smoke you often see from NIP as well. Exist likes to throw that one from CT spawn. And there are four Navi players over towards B. They are not interested in having their options uh, denied. Devilwalk falling to the flames of Flamey. I can only imagine he was flashed at the same time or taking lots of damage. Either way, he's dead. Double smoke's coming in from CT. Maybe a miscommunication. Peter is going to go for... Oh, they've, they, and they've only got one flash on to pit the CTs. So there's not much they can do to stop this situation. Nade onto Lex and a flash onto Pit. They're just going to have to go for the straight up uh, jewels here. Peter winning one. Winning the second one onto Flamey as well. Three versus three, but Peter's only got two HP now. Holding a passive angle there, but uh, the clock is ticking and the CTs don't have a kit. Peter going for the peak. Peter is now dead. Banana push is not going to work out for Pit either. And that is going to be a execution by Navi. Match points. And I wonder how many rounds Navi has taken in a row now. If we can look at the scoreboard. Six. And if you count from the CT side, it's actually 11. Wow. That's a lot of rounds in a row. That is momentum. That is, okay, we've had enough of your shenanigans. Now it's time for Navi. The Navi train. Speaking of trains, Navi train is moving up. Banana, at the moment, we have uh, a bit of people traffic, actually. Smoke eventually comes in. Again, Pit with the Mag 7 play, but he will not find anybody to engage anytime soon. I think it's Guardian holding the rotations there. Anger and Devil coming in to get the first two frags of the round. So far, so good. Not out of this just yet. Rotation of Peter moving away from B. Going straight back to B as Devil Walk goes down to Flamey. But uh, Anger's still in a position, close barrels. Will he be spotted? He comes in, gets one frag, gets two frags, traded eventually, but they've done enough, have Luminosity. They survive with three plays, pick up a few better guns, but Pit is too far away to upgrade his Mag 7. Now we will be able to buy this round and I think another round after this. So Luminosity has to string a lot of rounds together if they want to force Navi to an eco from this position. And two Famasas and one Mag here on Pit, it's going to be very, very tough. Yeah, the uh, mag is doable, but more or less forces Pit to play aggressive. He can have a sneaky position on the front of the truck, where there's a blind spot as the uh, T's come out of the apps, but I'm sure they won't want him to have that much map control, especially when they cannot afford to lose any rounds. So, Navi with numbers towards A this time, not really doing anything towards B. We can see some semi-aggressive positioning from Luminosity. We'll see if it ends up in the... Uh, play a rotation a bit later on as here comes the execute from Navi again coming a lot faster than we're used to seeing from them Peter gets two frags sees gets the trade smokes all over all over the place now and both the CTs and the T's what great timing on that flashbang Lex going down for free to Zeus Devil Walk with a uh, standard flash through the smoke will telegraph his position and he will go down Pit soon to follow and it's Anger versus three Anger will not survive in the library area and Navi will take it 16 to 7 yeah, and the timing of that flashbang through that smoke was absolutely perfect. I just love when you see uh, like perfect executed stress like that. Yeah, that was really solid stuff. And if he doesn't get that frag, then who knows which way that round goes. So, Navi with an expected result over Luminosity. Had a very rough start, but then just dominated the map afterwards. Not losing, I mean, what was that, 14 rounds in a row or something? 11 rounds? Yeah, they won 11 rounds in a row, then they lost one. Oh, and then they won yeah, they the 12th. One. Yeah, so... And I actually think it's... The big, the round where they went for the B push at 15 seconds left, where Navi had three players on B plus two Molotovs. Actually, that mistake from Navi losing that round, I think that triggered them to maybe question themselves and just pull themselves together. And just after that, they just won everything. 
Well, I believe that is Luminosity out of ESWC and of course Navi doing well for the time being. So that's going to bring our stream to a conclusion. Things will continue tomorrow on the main ESWC stream, so make sure you're tuned in over there as we uh, will watch things in Montreal. But from us, it is good night and uh, good night to all of you and thank you 